I am rich Catalonia. I want to just share uh, some parts of it which I going to publish uh, maybe next year. This is entitled Unheal and Chemicals. This is about the two natures of chemicals. Although this is unpopular because it contradicts the popular theory of the relativity in the squared, which I found 15 years ago that this formula is insufficient. And I want to share with you some of it to prove that this formula is uh, not cannot answer all of this question regarding explosion, gravity, rain and lightning, and the formation of comets, moons, planets, and, and the whole universe. This formula cannot answer. Fifteen years ago, I discovered that according to this theory, when atoms split up, it releases energy, which, is, which I found that that is not true. Because if you smash or you split the atoms, in reality, it absorbs energy. And it accumulates, then it will re uh, return back. For instance, in the explosion. I will show you some of the demonstration in the expression, which is bigger in the atomic, uh, in the nuclear explosion. But for instance, in a small, such as like this, in the smart, in the, in the nuts, the energy are around us, not inside. But according to the theory of rel relativity, the energy is stored in this much state. But in reality, if you the energy is outside, then if you break the atoms of it by friction, the energy will accumulate, accumulated by the chemi chemical reaction, or such like that. The heat was not from the matchstick, but from the outside, but it was accumulated by the chemical reaction. But we cannot prove you this, because this is very small. So, may I let you see which I borrowed this film from the, the classified U.S. nuclear test film number 70 uploaded by and may I ask, uh, I ask an apology for question to play this video
the ball of fire, an incandescent sphere of glowing gases whose internal temperature is measured in thousands of degrees, starts to climb into the sky. This particular fireball, a fraction of a second old, has an energy equivalent to 20,000 tons of conventional explosive. Its internal pressure is measured in thousands of pounds per square inch. As the luminous fireball grows to its eventual thousand foot diameter, gamma rays and neutrons are released to produce their lethal effect. Thermal or heat radiation ignites inflammable materials and inflicts personnel burns at relatively long ranges. The blast wave separates from the fireball and, traveling faster than sound, moves outward to batter the target area. This pulverizing shock wave forms a dust pedestal which seems to follow the rising cloud, developing into the characteristic mushroom shape of a low-altitude burst. Losing brilliance rapidly, the fireball is colored an orange-brown by the release of oxides of nitrogen from the surrounding air. Turbulent and still glowing, it shoots upward with an initial velocity of more than 100 miles per hour. As incandescence disappears, condensing water vapor begins to whiten the cloud. At still greater heights, ice crystals form and flow over the edges of the cloud to form a pure white color. Under certain atmospheric conditions, an ice cap may form above the cloud. Eventually, this cloud... Uh, ice crystal form. So, this chemical reaction is a huge it has a temperature of uh, the inside uh, very heat. But why there is an ice foam at the top? There is an ice, in my opinion, based on my discovery, there is an ice foam here because the chemical reactions here absorbs heat making the temperature here to decrease because the heat from here absorbed by the chemical reaction on the center. So therefore the temperature here will decrease and when the temperature decrease what will happen here the, the, the before here, the water before here becomes ice. So therefore, the, this chemical reaction absorbs heat. Because if it doesn't absorb heat, why does the, the, the temperature here decrease? So this is an indication that the chemical reaction with chemical uh, with the atoms and so that the atomic particles broke up, it absorbs heat. Because if it doesn't absorb it, the temperature here will not decrease and this portion cannot produce ice caps. Why there is an ice caps? Because the temperature is decreasing due to the absorption of the chemical reaction here in the center of the chemical reaction. So in my conclusion, the theory of relativity, the AMC squared, is insufficient for, for I mean, this, this is not correct. I don't have a formula for this because, but in my opinion, Explosion is the energy accumulation due to chemical reaction. 
not that it, it releases energy. 